Hi everyone, my name is Dale McCanty, I'm one of the designers for the new Phantom board game called The Treasures of Dracon. It's being released by Fru Games. Uh, my other designer, Alex Winter, could not be here today, but I'm going to do an unboxing video for you. Before we get into that, I just wanted to show you a couple of the items that you guys could have got through the Kickstarter. Uh, the first is the trade paperback, which is the Pirates of the Red Dragon Saga. Uh, the game was actually inspired by part three of Pirates of the Red Dragon. I wrote the prequel um, two-parter and Julie Dietrich wrote the sequel two-parter. So that's really great. It is available now on the Fru website. We also have the Phantom Universe card. So all of our Kickstarter backers will get the Waldo Universe card that I wrote. So that's great. And I just want to show you here that you can actually display the game in various ways on your gaming shelf or just your phantom collection standing up or sideways and before we move on to actually opening it up i just want to show you the colored game slips that were also available through the kickstarter so i'm going to keep one copy in the shrink and i'm sure there's a lot of phantom fans out there that are going to be doing the same but i just want to show you that once the shrink comes off uh, you'll notice on the back here, we've actually got these red and blue colored versions of the Phantom. They're like game slips. So once you open it up, depending on where you live, if you're in Scandinavia, he might be blue. If you're under Italy or Brazil, he might be red. But the slip just goes over the top of the board game, just like that, so you can display it how you want. Let's get to the unboxing now. So we have a great cover design here by Daniel Picciotto. I'm just going to open this up. Alrighty, so first thing we're looking at here is the rule book. I won't go through everything in a lot of detail. We are just having a quick look here. We do reference things are hotting up at the start here, which is uh, for Sammy J. He did the Kickstarter video for us. And things are hotting up is reference to his Hero Complex show. Uh, so thank you, Sammy J, for everything that you've done for us. Uh, as you can see, the first couple of pages are just the components. Then we have a nice visual setup page here. Then we get into the actual rules for the game itself. There's not too many rules. So this is just us explaining the very first game, which is Treasures of Dracon. So there's two pages there, four pages going over all of the rules. And then we just go into a little bit of clarification around, you know, characters and also the traps. Um, this will make more sense once you guys have gone through it yourself. But you can see here that all of the characters are unique. They have different unique dice. They all have unique powers. And we'll look at the miniatures a little bit later. Got our FAQs, alternative rules, a little bit more explanation around the cards and the events and how they work. And then in the back here, we've got who the playtesters were. So thank you to all of the playtesters. And let me go straight into the solo game. So the solo game is called Kid Phantom Battle of Dracon. And all of the art for this one is by Paul Mason. So there's a couple of scenarios and uh, rules here that are a little bit different to the base game. We've got a quick reference guide for the solo. And then we finally get to this page here. So this is a double page spread. This is actually a list of all of the Kickstarter backers that made this game possible. Without you guys, it literally wouldn't exist. So thank you very much for helping us out there. We greatly appreciate it. And then we do have a quick reference guide just in the back here. Then we've got two sheets worth of tokens. So you punch those right out, they're all cardboard, they're double-sided, and they're very, very nicely aligned up. We find in a lot of indie games uh, that they, they don't always line up, but these ones are looking perfect. And then we have this giant map or, or board that was drawn by Glenn Ford. So... There you go, it's an incredible map. This was actually uh, painted and then scanned in. So use the same board for both of the solo game and also the base game. So that's really cool. So we've got the minis. I'm sure everyone wants to look at these minis first. 
Uh, it's probably a little shiny, but you can see we've got Garan, the Phantom, Waldo, Princess Sin, Wakan, Kid Phantom, and Diana. These came up amazingly. So thanks to Julian uh, for doing the designs for us. Everything fits great in the box as well. You know, on the Kickstarter, we sort of showed you the different processes of, of how we designed the, the tray. Um, I was a little keen and eager. These cards were in plastic, uh, but I opened them up just before because I just wanted to have a flick through the cards. So we have the solo, solo cards here. Uh, and all the art is by Paul Mason. As we said, that was one of the stretch goals. I uh, was actually getting Paul to do the art. So, you know, have a flick those through those once you get them. Really, really great. So that's one deck. So there's 60 cards for the solo. And then we move over to the base game, which is the Treasures of Dracon. Now, all of this art is by Jamie Johnson. And as you can see, it's all full color. Uh, heaps of different cards, heaps of different illustrations. The great thing as well is everything here is created for the game. So it's not uh, images that you've seen before. So everything was made and commissioned for the game. Then we have our unique dice. So all of the characters uh, in the game have a unique dice each. And then we've got the track dice uh, for the Island of Recon. So those are great. We just got a couple of meeples or a few meeples for each character. They're all color coded. Then we've got the player boards. Also designed by Jamie Johnson. So we have Princess Sin, uh, Garan, Diana. And you can actually see that depending on who you play, uh, they have different health. So they also have powers, uh, which are on the cards. So Orkan, Waldo, and finally the Phantom. So they're all really cool. And on the back, uh, if you're playing the solo game, you've got Young Garan, uh, you've got Kid Phantom, and then you've got the villain, which is the founder of the Red Dragon Pirates, Commander Corsair. Uh, so they're all very different designs, not just health. Uh, we're looking at dice here. Uh, and different levels. Now these actually pop out as well. So you meant to pop those out to fit in the jade amulets. Uh, but you guys can discover that. Finally, just in the bottom here, we've got the event uh, tiles. So we sort of went through the, the design of the original dailies. So black and white, three panel. And this will actually define... Uh, you know, how many turns you take during the game. There's also a unique mission um, that you play through and there are rewards and penalties uh, when you complete or not complete the missions. All of these are done by Jamie Johnson as well. And the great thing is uh, you shuffle these. So it's actually different every time you play. Okay. And if you flip them over, we have the solo event tiles. And these are by Paul Mason. And this is an actual comic. So the order doesn't change. There is a specific order that you need to actually go through. And the rule book will explain all of that. As you can see, it nicely fits. There's a lot more room in the bottom of the tray for once you punch out all of the tokens. So everything will fit nicely. So just before we finish off the video, I wanted to actually show you what it looks like once you've punched all the tokens out and you've actually put the cards in sleeves. So I'm just gonna open this back up. Take away the rule book. Now something to remember is the, I like to put the rule book on top and then the map, okay? Because the map will actually serve as a seal for all of the pieces. So that's gonna make sure that nothing sort of floats around. And as you can see here, I've actually uh, put sleeves on all of the cards. There's 136 cards. I actually just used um, Mayday Games 
standard poker uh, size sleeves. That's 63.5 by 88 millimeter. Um, you know, they're quite cheap. I got those from Games World. Now, you can probably see they just, with the sleeves, just go a little bit, maybe a millimeter higher than that. Which is why the mat sitting on top of it will keep it all in place. We'll also notice, it is on a slant right now, that the backing for the solo game has a different design to the base game. So I'll just bring those up to the camera. And it's more shiny now because we've obviously got them in the protectors. So I'll just take all those away. One of the stretch goals that we hit uh, in the campaign was actually going from 90 GSM cardstock to 120. So thanks again to the Kickstarter backers for hitting that target. You can see that the dice and the meeples both sit in their same spots in the plastic bags that are supplied. That's fine. That doesn't change. The minis, again, they have their own spot. I have cut the sticky tape so I can open those up and I'll pop out the Phantom to show it's probably going to have a bit of trouble focusing. Now these are actually uh, larger than what we hit technically on the Kickstarter. So they were meant to be 35mm, there was a stretch goal for 55mm that we didn't hit but through games, myself and Alex decided to give it to the backers anyway. So we wanted the game to be the best it possibly can be. So you've got the, you know, all of these characters uh, at the larger 55 millimeter, and then you have Garan uh, at the smaller to show that he's a pygmy. So we gave that to you guys. We hope that um, it makes the game a little bit more enjoyable. And also you can paint these. So obviously we mentioned at the start of the video that the Phantom isn't always purple, he's blue, he's uh, red, sometimes he's brown in New Zealand, and I have seen a green Phantom as well. So feel free to paint these. If you do paint them, send us on the Fruit Publications Facebook. Uh, we'd love to see those. I've punched out all the centre pieces for the player boards. And that's so we can get the jasmine amulets actually sitting inside. Okay. So this is all the same. What I want to show you though, is I'll just take away nearly all of the event tiles. Now the last one, just like the map, actually acts as a seal. So that completely covers the whole space. So the tokens that are loose under here will not fly out. Okay, you can see it's completely covers it up now some people like to put these in plastic i'm just going to leave mine loose but as you can see there is enough space to fit all of the tokens comfortably uh, inside the tray now if you do like all of your tokens in plastic bags we can show that it can be done i'm just going to pull out the cards you can see there that i've used a sandwich bag just to get the meeples in the dice are in the bag that it came with and the reason why I'm using a sandwich bag here is because I've put the solo pieces, because there's not that many of them, I put the solo pieces in the bag the meeples originally came in, and then I've just got a second sandwich bag to get all of the base game pieces in. And you can see here that those all fit in the bottom, the meeples fit across here, and the dice fit in there as well. So everything in bags actually does fit as well. Finally, there's only 1,000 um, copies of this game that was made. Uh, We're not going to a second printing. So once they're gone, they are gone. Okay. Now we do have them on sale on the free website, which is www.phantomcomic.com.au. We hope everyone enjoys uh, the game because we've definitely enjoyed making it. And happy phantoming.